Hi Marys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you've landed here for the very first time. Hope you subscribed to my channel, clicked on notification bell so you don't miss out any further updates. You can also follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Sari Sari link description box. Mein. Namaste, this is Dvija and how are you? We are watching the first time for the first time ever, Beer Biceps. और उनकी आई थिंक दिस इज ए पॉडकास्ट है गोस्ट डीमेंस एंड हॉन्टिंग्स पैरानोमल एक्सपर्ट नील डिसलवा द रणवीर शो टू थर्टी ओके वेस गो फॉर इट थोड़ा आवाज़ में भी मूड सेट करना ज़रूरी है वैसे भी इट इज़ ऑलमोस्ट द हेलोइन ऑलमोस्ट हेलोइन दिस इज़ द हेलोइन मंथ तो ये करना बनता है और जो भी मुझे पहले सब्सक्राइब किया हुआ है जिन्होंने दिन हो मेरा फेवरेट जॉन रहा है हॉरर सस्पेंस कॉन नॉट कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी कॉन्स्पेरेसी थियोरीज एंड एवरीथिंग अराउंड ऑल ऑफ दोज थिंग्स सो होपफुली इसमें बहुत मज़ा आएगा ये पॉडकास्ट काफ़ी लंबा है फोर्टी मिनट्स सो हम लोग फिर पहले फिर रिसेट ओके फोकस तो जा फोकस I am very excited to just jump into the video, लेकिन ये बोलना ज़रूरी है कि मैंने फिंग का वीडियो किया था रिसेंटली क्योंकि बहुत लोग मुझे रिकमेंड करते हैं कि फिंग के हॉर वीडियोज़ आर वेरी नाइस मैंने उनके वीडियोज़ देखे हैं फिंग के बट आई हैव सीन मोर लाइक ऑफ डार्क वेब हॉर मैंने पहली बार देखा था लेकिन वो एज सूटेबिलिटी में चला गया आई डोंट नो अभी गोस्ट वीडियोज आर नॉट अलाउड ऑन यूट्यूब इज वेल आई डोंट नो तो ये बहुत लंबा पॉडकास्ट है फॉर द ट्रायल हम लोग सिर्फ दस मिनट देखने वाले आगे और फिर दूसरे पार्ट में विल कंप्लीट द होल थिंग इफ वी एंजॉय इट टुगेदर और ये वीडियो अपलोड हो जाती है देन विल कीप कंटिन्यूइंग विल कंटिन्यू दिस जस्ट शॉर्ट ऑफ यूर पता नहीं क्यों आई एम नॉट स्पीकिंग राइट आई एम नॉट इन माई राइट माइंड बट आई वॉन्ट सी दिस एज फास्ट एज पॉसिबल सो लेट जस्ट गो फॉर इट मैंने इनके वीडियो अभी तक एक भी बार नहीं देखे आई हैव नेवर सीन इट नॉट ऑन कैमरा नॉट ऑफ कैमरा सो नहीं पता है क्या होने वाला है बट आई जस्ट होप मजा आएगा और ये वीडियो जाएगी play judel and a dian they have a very similar overlapping kind of origin uh, theory it is believed that when a woman dies at childbirth or when she is pregnant and if she is not um, cremated properly with all the rituals and all then because of uh, the latent desire in her mind she turns into a judel and oh. what happens in that reality she will be on this earth unsatisfied and she will not uh, be able to see the happiness of other women yakshinis are these demi goddesses they are believed to also already. be on earth and when they come here they are mostly in their evil forms beautiful to look at but then there is this one form of them which you know once the seduction has worn off then they come into this evil form and they will of course their victims are usually men so this is one of the most interesting guests that we've had on the show really we've also edited the podcast slightly matlab interest interesting, for, interesting for me main dekha nahi hai music because i feel like stories about ghosts horror stories deserves this stories background that scare music you are best enjoyed when it's slightly edited through the power of filmmaking i hope you enjoy this slightly hatke episode This one's with Neil De Silva. He's a horror writer. He's oh. worked with paranormal investigators, and he's here to share everything that his research has brought to his own mind. He's on the Ranvi show today. Lots of talk about ghosts. Lots of talk about spirits. Lots of talk about the astral world. This is not a podcast for everyone because it's scary. It's definitely not a podcast for skeptics. It's right. a podcast for believers. More podcasts like this. Make sure you follow us on Spotify. Spotify exclusive, oh. which means that every episode is available on Spotify for okay. eight hours before it's played anywhere else in the world. This is Neil De Silva on the Ranveer Show, speaking about horror. I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> Dear biceps. I do believe nahi karta hai I'm super pumped about this episode Neil Silva welcome to TRS sir Thank you so much for having me on the show I shouldn't be seeing this forward to our chat I don't even know where to start considering the number of books you've written on subjects related to the paranormal uh Indian culture in so many of your books 
Yeah. Um, you know, I I genuinely don't know where to begin this conversation. I do want to begin with excitement, but at the same time, I want to make it atmospheric and scary for our viewers. Oh yes, please so, do that. How are you? Sir? <laughs> so I'm good. I'm feeling well. I, I have just had a long drive, so that's the only problem. But otherwise, fine. Now it's a chilled chat. Okay. Uh, I write a lot of horror as well. Like uh, it's fiction that I haven't published. Oh. And I write it because there's so many experiences I've had in my own life as well. And I feel like anyone who writes horror, be it yourself, be it Stephen King. We either we're believers or we've had some sort of childhood experiences with the paranormal. I've had. In order to even think, and I'm sure as is the case with every author, you're also a big reader, and I'm sure you're into reading horror, reading about the paranormal, understanding these subjects better. So let me tell you how it started for me. The inclination towards horror that was through reading. So even as a child, you know, when I was in my grade seven and eight, I read Edgar Allan Poe. and dracula and frankenstein oh. so those were the books that iconic attracted me those were the that was the area where i veered towards i read a lot of this gothic stuff and uh, coming from western authors so those castles and uh, the dark brooding environment the characters right. who had this kind of uh, some kind of problem in their lives they're facing they're going to it so yeah that <coughs> stayed with me somewhere i think even as a, when you are reading these this kind of stuff as a child there was no censorship in my home for reading so when you are reading this kind of stuff i was not afraid of those stories but somewhere i connected with them and i felt like uh, like i wanted to create these kinds of worlds myself so that is where it all began <laughs> fear of the dark i need to read more of this that's horror that's very common that's Same. very common and and what's weird is i had the same and i'm also creating a lot of dark ghost based yes. content so that strong fear of the dark has turned into art later yeah. on i need like, to follow him go I, i think that's a catharsis you know somewhere we face those fears that's what i do so okay so i was quite afraid of the dark so afraid that i would not even go in another room even though the whole family was sitting here i'm afraid of the dark too same so i was terrified now i would have this recurrent kind of uh, i would not say a dream but a kind of vision that in the next room where it is completely dark from the ceiling a man would come down and whoever goes there he would dis- he would you know grab that person that was my phobia i would think that some something will drop from the ceiling and grab me so this was the experience that haunted me for 2 years or so But this is imagination fears, experience. Fears that I had growing up, they have landed in my books, but in a different form. Uh-huh. You're scaring other people now with what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just passing it on. <laughs> course, like a course. What do you think the nature of being a ghost is? I've I've just heard that that realm is full of suffering, that reality is full of suffering, and uh, I mean, where do you even turn in order to get educated about ghosts? You can turn to philosophical books. Yeah. You can turn to spiritual books. The only thing I've learned is that. when you have an unnatural death before mm. your time has actually come to die you spend the remainder of that time in mm. this realm as a ghost and this is from uh, books like the garud puran autobiography of a yogi all these books talk about these occult realities but what do you think so yeah there is only strong and the laws of to all this. i have that book uh, when i started out as uh, when i was writing horror my initial works were all fiction make believe worlds make believe monsters of course i wrote about agoris in my first book but that is again based on research when i started writing about ghosts uh, that was the time when i also started studying more about the whole world mm, i know that i met paranormal investigators <gasps> people who are actually working day in and day out to find the truth behind this and uh, The surprising thing is, no two paranormal investigators also will have the same theory. Oh, ghosts, they will think perspective. Some, they will have some nuance that is different. So what I have come to the conclusion is, after writing, you know, books like Vijay Alani, I have written Haunted with Sarbajit Mohanty, I have written The Spirit Stop to Haunted. Spirit. Both very different in their mindset, in their way of thinking. Like you can explain the differences. Jay is more of a rationalist. Jay Alani, he is a more of a rationalist. So he is, uh, he believes that there is a lot of blind faith and superstition worked into the paranormal world. A part of it is real. A part of it really is the occult, is really the paranormal. What we say, but the major part of it, at least in India, is, uh, you know, just a commercial, commercially propagated thing. Hmm. So like people who are believing in black magic and all. using it mm. to make a quick buck 
so that is jai's belief so jai is okay. trying to find out where the real paranormal lies and what part of it is fake so i'll come to that sarbajit on the other hand he believes that paranormal energies are all around us which is also part of jai's belief but sarbajit believes that these energies are a kind of a other dimension mm. which is here right now in this room as well they can see us right we cannot interact with them using your chase for writing horror has attracted horror into your life oh it, it can that's what people do tell me that's what people do tell me that when you try to write about their world they come to know that you are writing <gasps> about their world yeah i'm because i've been Till... reading a lot of horror lately and i have been feeling creeped out i don't know yes. how else to explain it but anyways so go on and what i mean by creeped out is very weird dreams yeah so that happens a lot not just the dreams the dreams are yeah okay dreams do happen because your mind is still working when you are asleep right yeah subconscious but i have had real experiences how i don't know uh, this one so time bad. i was in goa i was i had booked a cottage on the other side of kalangut which is a very lonely kind of place desolate place i like that place because of its vibe So I was writing a book there, a horror novel. Oh. I was in the middle of this particularly horrifying scene, which required all my attention. So my eye was only on that 13-inch Mac, and I was just looking there, nowhere else. And I felt something cold pass by from behind. I just felt it, and it was so material. You know, usually ghosts are just like an illusion in your peripheral sight, but this was very material. <coughs> Feel that something happened, and um, then I just looked around, and light started flickering. And the light was flickering quite bad from the electricity. Know, it, it was not like a normal fluctuation. I went out of the room to see the other places. Everyone was asleep, but the other lobby lights and everything was quite okay. Only my room was the one flickering. So these kinds of things mm. do happen. I think it comes in you somewhere. What do paranormal investigators say about the presence of ghosts? First of all, are all ghosts evil or good? No. some ghosts are good i think uh, the majority of them are good oh but then which are the ghosts which are evil the evil ghosts Never i think that. from what i have heard from all these experiences from the paranormal investigators uh the ghosts that have something left in their lives in their current life something that they wanted to do or those who, those who had an unjust kind of death and right. murders Possibly. because they are mostly dead by some violence some kind of violence there has been violence either throughout their lives or in their death mm. so th- there is this concept of pishach uh-huh, the right. ghoul that we have our hindu mythology so the pishach is believed to be uh, created when a man dies a very violent death in a surge of anger mm. so if suppose you kill me I am very angry that you killed me, but I can't do anything, and I just have to die. Right. I will probably become a pishach. So this is where uh, the ghosts turn evil. And like once a poltergeist, poltergeists are just noisy ghosts. They uh, are they are not poltergeist, evil. Yeah. So the experiences of poltergeists that I have chronicled, uh, I have not said evil. That they are evil. They are mischievous. They are naughty. They try to disorient you, and they try to somehow uh, sap your energies. Mm. But they will not kill you. Poltergeists, they hardly kill. But Pishach can. Pishach can. Have you heard first-hand accounts of Pishach hauntings? Not of Pishach, but uh, there were certain other uh, creatures I could say oh. entities that I have worked with. Uh, one of my books is Yakshini. So Yakshinis are very prevalent in the south of India, kind of demigods. Okay, I'm going to pause it here before we start with the. ghost thing only because i do not know ki ye upload hoga ki nahi aur ye upload nahi hua to ye 40 minutes of everything is just going to go to waste i do not want that i want this to be uploaded i want to discuss more of such things because i love and enjoy aisi cheeze aur main bahut reddit pe quora pe search bhi karti rehti hu people who have a hard experiences ya jo bhi hai se That's what I do, to be honest. अगर मैं खा भी रही हूँ ना तो मैं there is there are few channels जो भी जिनको मैं देखती हूँ जो ऐसे stories या फिर ऐसे experiences narrate करते हैं आई गिज आई स्टॉप फाइव हॉन्टिंग ट्यूब दो वो यूजली हॉर मूवीज के एक्सप्लेन एक्सप्लेनेशन पोस्ट करते हैं काफ़ी टाइम्स उनके पॉडकास्ट भी आते हैं देर इज ऑल्सो फिंग आई हैव सीन क्वाइट फ्यू वीडियोज़ ना अभी तो 
जो अपलोड नहीं हुआ तो फिर मैंने खुद ही देख लिया लाइक सो अभी क्या कर सकते हैं उस पर ऑल्सो मगर वेस्टर्न लाइक टॉप फाइव इज़ वन ऑफ द वेस्टर्न वन लेजी मैस्कर इज अमेजिंग रॉफ के वागन इज़ अमेजिंग सो मेरे लिए इंपॉर्टेंट है जो नरेटर है उसकी आवाज़ में भी उदम होना चाहिए सो आई कैन हेयर इट ऑल दैट बट आई डू दैट ऑल द टाइम एंड आई आई हैव रिसर्च अबाउट फ्यू टाइप्स ऑफ टू डेयर एंड एवरी थिंग इट्स क्रेजी और वो सब हम लाइक आई मीन आई डोंट नो जो बिलीव नहीं करता है उनको ये टाइम वेस्ट लग सकता है वेरी बिलाई आई वर एवर बट आई फाइंड इट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग आई हैव हैड फ्यू एक्सपीरियंस एज वेल आई हैड फ्यू वंस मेरी मम्मी को भी हुआ है एंड एक तो यहीं पर हुआ है राइट वाई एब्स थिंग राइट नाउ लाइक आई थिंक नॉट जस्ट वन टू ट्वाइस आई रियली वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस अबाउट दैट लेकिन अगर ये वीडियो नहीं गया तो इट्स गोन बी वेस्ट सो आई होप ये वीडियो जाए एंड नेक्स्ट वीडियो में वी कैन डिस्कस आर ओन एक्सपीरियंस विद ईच अदर वी कैन जस्ट हैव लाइक ए वॉट डू आई से ए एस एम आर काइंड ऑफ लाइफ टूगेदर बिकॉज वैसे भी हेलो इन आ रही है सो आई थिंक आई एम थिंकिंग ऑफ डूइंग समथिंग लाइक दैट आई थिंक वी शुड वेट लेट मी नो क्या ख्याल है आपका मुझे तो ये बहुत अच्छा लगा जितना भी मैंने देखा अभी तो बहुत बाकी है बट ऑलरेडी पुल्ड मी इन सो मच आई एम लविंग द नरेशन एंड द होस्टिंग ऑफ रनवीर आई थिंक उनका नाम रनवीर एंड लविंग वट एवर ही सेंग आई नीड टू ऑर्डर द बुक्स जो मैंने देखी वो एक एक बुक मैंने ऑर्डर की है अभी इट्स नॉट रियली हॉर लेकिन आई थिंक वो सस्पेंस हॉर थ्रिलर जैसी है क्योंकि मैंने अभी बहुत सारी अभी भी काफ़ी एक दो तो पढ़ी हुए मैं रीड करने वाली हूँ बट आई वॉन्ट टू रीड फिक्शन इट्स बिन लॉन्ग सो आई ऑर्डर समथिंग लाइक दैट तो देखते कैसे होगी वो एंड देन वील ऑर्डर दिस वंस होप फुली दिस मेक्स इट एंड वी कैन टेक दिस फॉर्वर्ड एंड डू मोर सच वीडियोज आई वुड लव इट एंड आई सी यू गैस नेक्स्ट टाइम बाई बाई लव यू